So this mod does give you more resistance, but unfortunately, it does give you less pedal travel. So this is what I use. This is off a of Husingveld V1 handbrake. It's the soft version. I don't know what, what durometer meter level it is. I just cut it with a razor blade. You can see it popping out right here. It's about, I'd say a millimeter sticking out further. And I am using a spacer. Now I'm specifically using a Fanatic spacer. This is from the Fanatic V3 pedal set. And it kind of just keeps the spring centered. But you could also use a BMX 3 8 spacer. This is typically like, like a peg adapter for the front axle. You could probably find something like this at your local hardware store as well. It just needs to have this sort of inner portion to keep the spring centered. My main goal is to remove the two-stage feeling of this pedal. Uh, but, you know, as a result, it's actually a much stiffer feeling pedal. And I love it. So the next mod, you can find at Ace Hardware. This is just a rubber sort of spacer. It has like a, a two-stage sort of effect. It's got like a you know, the lower shelf and this upper sort of portion that kind of squishes. Now you will need to recalibrate Two, your pedals one, after these modifications four, because it will change the point at when you stop. Six. And it doesn't have that two-stage feeling. It just feels like there's a, there's a clear point when your clutch is all the way pressed and then you can let it out slowly and modulate your clutch. You know, if you're used to driving road cars, it, this is going to be a lot more intuitive to you. Now on the throttle pedal, this just makes it a little bit more road car like. And right five. It feels more like two pieces of metal are flexing against each other right rather six. than like, you know, two pieces of steel just like coming together and just like clashing, clash, you know? 50, right six, crest, 50, right five, long. These mods, in my opinion, make this pedal set feel so much better. It makes it feel much more in line with what I expected out of the pedals out of the box. Now that I've used these pedals for a lot longer, you know, they, they've grown on me even more so. You know, I, I was impressed with the quality at first. When I opened the box, I was impressed with the performance. But I was still more used to my Fnatic V3s and still preferred them, you know, for the brake feel and everything. I do still prefer the brake feel of the Fnatic V3s with the damper kit. In its stock configuration, the Symagic pedals kill the Fnatic pedals 100% night and day. But with that damper mod on the Fnatic V3s, the brake pedal does feel better in my opinion. Again. I'm talking about replicating road cars. You know, most people cannot afford a dedicated race car. You know, so my cars are high performance, but they're high performance sports cars or high performance road cars, whatever you want to call them. It's not some like track only beast. You know, I can drive to and from whatever courses I'm racing, you know? So I'm trying my best to retain that muscle memory. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video. <laughs> left three. 50, left six. Crest, then right four.